Hey, so welcome to the uh, Louis Daylights Photography Channel. I'm your host, I'm your pal, Louis Daylights. Welcome to the show. In this episode, we're gonna be switching it up a little bit. I wanna be more precise with the content, and so we're gonna be switching up a little bit. Today we shoot with the Mamiya RB67 Pro SD. <laughs> We're gonna be shooting with the Kodak Portra 400 and the Kodak Gold 200. And the goal is gonna to be to see if you can tell the difference. I know that if we were to edit the photos and really try hard to make them look the same, I'm sure that it could be done. But the idea would be to shoot it in its natural state without any editing, just getting the settings on point. I was really excited about the shoot that we did with Annie and Jenna because that day was really sunny and we were able to get the negatives back from those shoots and then scan it and really didn't have to do anything to it. Now, I have been doing anything to the photos but in this case they naturally looked really nice and I think that you can tell a difference which one is the portrait and which one is the Kodak gold but it doesn't mean that one or the other isn't any good they're just different if that makes any sense so we continue with a summer outdoor tropical shoot scenery which is behind me here with our clients turned collaborators my pal Annie and my pal Jenna look at this guy hey be careful so when I was searching for an interesting look, I found Annie. This is some of the stuff we did in the past. So I know that Annie is from Cambodia or her family is from Cambodia. She's super energetic, super friendly, really the nicest girl you'll ever meet. And I, and I love to continue working with girls when they have these qualities because they're so sweet and so nice. It makes it that much more fun. The folks that you see more than once, it's because they're real sweethearts and, and I love collaborating with them. So I invited her over and because we like what we do with one another, we did it. You're also gonna see some shots of Jenna. Her parents booked me for some photo shoot that she needed for some glamor stuff. I think she was trying to get into like John Casablanca's or something like that and then I didn't see her for like two years and then when she turned like 16 or 17 she reached out again we did a shoot I've actually shot with her probably about seven different times as a paid client and I always told her if you want to do a collaboration I, I feel compelled because she was such a repeat client that I said you know whenever you're ready so these girls didn't really know each other but they got to hang out and kind of take turns with their with their looks I think it was two looks or three looks each but we were able to knock it out in like an hour and a half which was great because having to be filming behind the scenes stuff and shooting also like digitals and with the Mamiya RB67, it can be kind of tedious, but we were able to knock it out. Like we were in and out and this is how it went.
Shooting with the Mamiya RB67 is absolutely my favorite camera right now. You know, when I was shooting with the Mamiya C330, right, the focus was really short. With the RB67 Pro SD, there's a little more grace. There's a little more room with being able to capture uh, what you want without having to compromise the focus. And you get really nice bokeh with the 90 millimeter lens that I'm shooting with. So I'm really happy with shooting right now with the Mamiya RB. I really don't know of any other cameras that I'm interested in purchasing or shooting with aside from the Pentax 67 and the Mamiya 7 which are great cameras that I really would love to shoot with but each one of those cameras is going for anywhere between 35 and 4500 bucks I could buy a Canon R5 with that amount of money or get pretty close to it and so it mm, yeah I wanna but take it easy world Take it easy, eBay. Take it easy, Japan. So I think up to now, shooting with the Mamiya RB67 Pro SD, this shoot right here has been my favorite because straight out of the box, like the pictures were really vibrant, really beautiful, and even had like an artistic touch. Today, with this shoot, I really felt like it had the right flavor. Like it had a Renaissance vibe, and then even with uh, uh, Annie, when it, you know, she could easily be from Hawaii, or we could have easily been at like some volcano or some waterfall with some of these shots. So I just think they really lent themselves to something really beautiful. And I I think it's because I'm getting a little better with my settings and the lighting was cooperating. And even with Jenna standing on the uh, pool ladder, the sun was hitting just the right way for everything to look really nice. So I'm really happy about that. I hope you enjoyed the content today. We're gonna be more specific, eliminating a lot of the fluff and really just getting straight to the point. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please hit like, subscribe, notification bell, the whole nine, be really helpful. Thanks again.